friends, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. My name's Cece, and today we're doing an update, a very late update, on my one and done project. This project is a usage project, and as you might tell from the title, I just want to use the products once. These are items that are new to my collection, or they've been sitting around for years, and I just have not taken the time to try them out. So. I was doing 10 products per month and with the way things have been going for me with work and everything, I am going to cut that back. I am going to cut down to five products and you know, sometimes we just have to step back in life and you know, try to take a breath and refocus. So that's what we're going to do. So first up, we'll go through what I got through since my last update, which I think was in May. And then we'll see if I can pull anything new in. All right, so first up is my OMFG Pretty Primer in the shade Red Velvet. I pulled this in because I thought it might be dried out. And guess what? I was right. It is, it's not completely dry, but it is not liquid anymore. And I'll show you what my caramel version looks like. So this one you can see is still in liquid form and it moves um, a little, <laughs> but this one is definitely still good and this one is not. So I am glad that I now know that it is not worth keeping around and this is going to be decluttered from my collection. Next up is the Winky Lux Ombre Blush in Sunset Beach and this is what it looks like. It is so pretty. It is so pretty. I did enjoy using it and I actually thought that this was just an overspray but you can see that I have you know worked through that and that is still there. So it truly is an ombre product and I'm loving it and I'm happy I finally tried it. I also have the Rare Beauty Positive Light Highlighter in the shade Mesmerize and again this was absolutely wonderful to use. The only thing I'm sad about is that it's not as beautifully perfect as it once was. Yeah, you know how I am about beautiful, beautiful makeup products, <laughs> but I'm very happy I used this because now I can keep using it. Love it. Next up is the It Bye Bye Foundation Powder in Fair to Light. And I never even thought about trying it. I'm, I'm just not a foundation person, really. I don't even know if I want to keep it in this project for another month because I'm really not going to use it. I should probably give it away. Um... I mean, it's still got the flavor saver on it. Yeah, I should probably donate it, you know? Next up is this by Rosie Jane Dulce. Did I actually use this? No, I didn't. And I'm, you know what? I'm pulling this one out of the project too because I can tell it is too sweet smelling for me. It would give me a headache. So yeah, we're just gonna probably reset for next month. Next up is from Jolie 2.0. This is Luster Lip in Terrena, and I used it. Um, that's all about all I can say about it. Uh, it is a duotone, like pink to orange shimmer. I think it was okay, but it's just not something I really would reach for a lot, but I'll keep it for now just in case I, you know, get a wild hair and decide to use it again. Okay, we also have the Melt Liquid Lipstick in Mia or Maya, and I wanted to try this one because I thought it might have gone bad and separated. I have not tried it yet. <sighs> Do I want to? I don't know, but I think I'll keep this one in the project. Why not? Next I have my little LA Colors Make Them Melt eyeshadow palette and I did use it. Not the best quality, but I can say I've used it now. So, yay. Also have the Zoeva Spice of Life palette, uh, mini palette. And did I use it? 
No. Did I put another finger in it just now? Yes, I did. In the same shade that I put a finger in it before, which is why I ended up keeping it. Okay. So this one I'm going to give another month. And last up is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Palette in Sundays. I did end up using this. I cannot remember if I enjoyed it or not, but I will keep it and maybe it'll go into three times a charm at some point. So of those 10 products, there are two that will be moving on for another round. The Melt Lipstick in Maya and the Zoeva Spice of Life palette. And I will be grabbing three more products to add to this for next month. Alrighty, I have picked my three new products. The first one, this is gonna hurt me to use. Like I said, I just have issues with ruining the beautiful surface of makeup. But this is from Tarte. It is a double duty beauty blush in the shade Moment. And I mean, it's just so pretty. The cover is gorgeous and the product itself. It is a peachy, tone with a golden shimmer, which is something I'm pretty into when it comes to blushes. So yeah, I don't want to hurt it, but I do want to use it and just see if I like it. I also have this ColourPop quad. This is Sorbet and it's kind of heavy, but yeah, um, if I don't end up using this, then it needs to go to a better home. So give myself, you know, so I'm going to put it in the project. Last up is from Pat McGrath. It is this Idols eyeshadow in the shade Enraptured. I have three of these. I have another golden shimmer and I have a brown matte. But I want to try this one out because it was my favorite of the three when I purchased them. And it's Pat McGrath. I mean, it's got to be good, right? <laughs> so... Those are the five products I will work on this month. Wish me luck. Hopefully with narrowing this down a little, I will have better progress in the month. Thanks so much for watching this update, guys. If you enjoyed it, please remember to give this video a thumbs up and leave me some comments down below. Cheer me on, please, because I could use it. <laughs> and if you haven't yet, you can always subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you guys around for the journey. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Next up was the Winky Lux Sunset Blush in Ombre. Is that what it's called? Next up was the Winky Lux... Next up was the Winky Lux Ombre... Blah, blah. What's going on there?